we're going to be let's playing one of my favorite games for the Nintendo DS, an overlooked classic, Russell Grant's Astrology. Featuring Russell Grant <laughs> <laughs> and Astrology. We'll jump right into it once it loads. Have you played this before? Mm, not really. <laughs> Do you know much about Astrology? Um, I'm actually <laughs> majoring in Astrology. That's a good thing. At Columbus University. Ohio? Ohio! <laughs> um, let's get right into it. Um, you have to go through this tutorial when you begin. Okay. Uh, welcome to the help section. You can access help tips throughout the game in order to become familiar with the program. It calls itself a program, not a game, but it is actually all the fun of a game. But in the palm of your hand. Tucked into the, the atmosphere of a program. Touch, <laughs> touch the flashing icon. In the, I'm just going to go through this. You have to create stuff. Hey. Okay, there we go. It was just being slow. It's responsive. Um, now it's going to explain what the buttons do. Uh, you can open... It's saying... I don't know why I'm pointing. The status is pointing. That is the help button. And the tick is the confirmation button, just in case. That Just in case you weren't aware of how ticks work. Just in case. Uh, you can't skip this. You have to wait for it to meander its way across. Part of it is the emulator, I, I, I assume. Makes it slightly slower. I think... Programs that force you to sit through a tutorial are the best kind of program. This is the first, this is like a first open boxing almost, but it's an emulator of the game. So maybe once you've set up your account, it doesn't make you go through this again. I would hope not. I think it should make you sit through it every time just to make sure you know. <laughs> That's just how Russell Grant rolls. The X button deletes entries and the ABC buttons is when you enter, is how you enter it in, just in case. Why would you want to delete your astrology work? Well, in case you bought it pre-owned, perhaps. A good point. Although I don't know why you would. I'd want to put all my money towards the developers. <laughs> like Russell Grant. You make, want to make sure that Russell Grant got his fair share. I want to make sure he eats well. Well, <laughs> it's like he does he anyway. He needs a lot. He needs a oh! big budget for that, sir. Um, to start the game, you must enter your place and date of birth. Okay, I will as soon as you allow me to. I will get right on that. I will get I'm right gonna admit on that. that. Is is about as fast as Russell Grant himself. <laughs> if you think they were programming this game, it's going really fast. It's like, no guys, slow down. I need to be able to eat a sandwich while reading this. Welcome to Russell Grant's astrology in lowercase. <laughs> Learn all about yourself and your stars. Recognize what affected you in the past and discover what the future still has in store for you. Oh my god. So we're gonna create a thing. Sure you don't click open first? True, I click open, then it tells me that this is available, and then I click ABC to uh, input, and I have to input my birth name, uh, and I input yours. Thanks very much. George. I like how, um, I like how once you click a capital, it automatically switches to lowercase. That's smart. In preparation for the fact that, that you will smart. be, because sometimes it doesn't, and you have to click all the way down here to change. It's like Russell Grant knows the... Knows most people. Knows most people. Have a capital letter first. I think it's because he saw it in the stars. I think it's just uh, plain arrogance because uh, his name also. The tick, as I remember, is the correct confirmation Smart button. thinking. Uh, when's your date of birth? Russell Grant didn't really think that through, did he? There's going to be people stuck post-nuclear holocaust. Like, I want to Okay, it's asking for your birth time. Do you know? First time, I think it was <laughs> oddly specific. <laughs> um, go for four p.m. I I think it was four p.m. No, four twenty. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down. I know this is in insane. I should have scrolled up, but you didn't think this through. I did you? I enjoy the. You should have done a Russell Grant and looked into the but stars. But I love okay. the uh, numbers in the thirties, so I just wanted to see those as I go as I scroll past. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, we're all ready to go. Oh, country. Good one. Let's pick our This country. map of Europe will help you find your birthplace. Do you think there's an American version? No. Why oh, it's explaining how to do the map. It's not letting me click yet. It's explaining you need to select the country and then, Just in case and you then select the, the tick. Things. And then select the tick and okay. then you confirm it. This game's fun. <laughs> is this... I'm having fun. Are you having fun yet? Are you having fun? I'm having fun. Is it going to let me pick it? Oh, if your country's not visible on the map, you can click that, and then... Huh. 
co- you, need you can find the exact <laughs> you can find the exact coordinates of your birthplace on the internet, for example. What? But I wasn't born on the internet. <laughs> would you just Google my birthplace and it would come up with the coordinates? That'd be creepy. That would be stalking. Are you gonna allow me to select yet? Or are you gonna? Okay. Good one. Well, that took forever. To... Why does it know the currency in the area of the country? It's gonna. You're gonna wanna go for Bristol. Okay. This is just giving away all our. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with this. They go back. Maybe go back. maybe it knows this is go a bomb and it's just to... trying to track us. <laughs> <laughs> go back and this to be exact. Do you think this gets put on a centralized server and then Russell Grant can check anyone any <laughs> moment? Probably. He's like the new big brother. He can. <laughs> he sat there on his massive. 1984 was written about Russell Grant and his program. Okay, well, right, we're in. Option options. Astro Advisor. Horoscope, Academy, Entertainment, and Personal. Well, I'm thinking about Astro Advisor. I want to get into this straight away. Let's see what's here. The Astro Advisor looks at the stars and reveals all the important things to you. You can also draw information from your biorhythm analysis. I like the sound of that. Anything involving bio and rhythm, I'm a fan of. I'm not sure. I'm comfortable with this game. You can. You it's can... asking too many personal details. It's making me uncomfortable. Daily stars. Alright. <laughs> Your daily stars reveal what the day will hold for you. Huh. Well, Even we're though we're almost at the end of the day. You need to relax. Calm it. You should just say calm it. <laughs> Oi. Keep it on the back. Use mode. some aromatherapy or take a cleansing sauna to get the body and soul back in tune. Genius. Let's go to love. You have deep, wide-ranging feelings. Are they calling me a bisexual? Yes. However, you should not keep driving yourself ever onwards. You should just dis- dis- You should decide on a partner with whom you can share the joys of love. Well, Why are you just... moving closer to me right now? Why? Are... I'm sorry, but I just like touching your legs. Job. <laughs> <laughs> Our lives today are characterized by bureaucracy and administration. Inform yourself about important legal rulings, even if this is boring. <laughs> it will definitely help Learn you. Learn about law. Watch out for crime. <laughs> Don't die. All right. How do I get hit back? That has been fun. That was a fun feature. Thanks. I'm going to take this in my stride and buy a rhythm. I yeah. wonder what this is about. It might make you play a mini game. Oh. Based on the idea that we are influenced by rhythm. Rhythmic life cycles. Biorhythm creates a detailed physical, emotional, and intellectual analysis based on your birthday. Hot. It sounds a lot of complex just for a birthday. Oh, graphs and moving things. The biological change is past. I think that's called puberty. <laughs> and your body is entering a strong regenerative phase. I'm not a time lord. What are you, Wolverine? <laughs> 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 you are now well able to build strength and endurance without having to overexert yourself. Is that like a superhero? I, I think Infinite I'm... endurance. <laughs> Intellectual. Nope. Wait, it's go just go nope. back up. I want to check oh. which uh, line this is. The red one. Well, I'm going on down. Why would it keep going down? Maybe because you're going to experience a fall. Oh, man. Intellectual. Your mental curve is climbing. For this reason, you need interesting, exciting challenges to take you towards towards your mental zenith. In doing so, you can be completely absorbed, both professionally and privately. I don't know if I want anyone to absorb me. Uh, here, here's where it gets to the nitty-gritty, emotional. I'm going to break down. Shortly following your spiritual peak, you still have sufficient spiritual energy to strengthen your religious beliefs. <laughs> Use it to hold on to those things that are important to you. Well, so far the information given has been completely precise and factual. You're strong, intelligent, and have firm religious beliefs. <laughs> now let's look at the moon. The powers of the moon. It'd be great if you just said tides are happening. Dem tides. Go What's swimming. <laughs> Cardinal moon phase. Okay, let's get this annoying... Yeah, I realise I can scroll up and down. This Thanks way. very much. The waxing Russell. crescent moon begins after the conjunction between sun and moon and ends before the sun and the moon are in the first... That's a long <laughs> fucking sentence. Russell Grant really he has high standards for people's reading. He needs some grammar stuffs. 
Horoscope. Let's do horoscope. You can generate your birth. Ooh. How do you generate a birth? <laughs> Travel back in time. That you, I think you just punch someone in the stomach. That's called an abortion. Love and job horoscopes in horoscope. You can also combine the charts. Two people and learn a lot about your relationship. I'm interested in this. I might go back and make mine. I don't know. I, maybe I'll let you do it halfway through. Uh, probably not. Horoscope. Go. Horror. Horror. Life. No, let's love. do love. Let's just do love. Okay. It's not good for everything. Oh, love, sex, and romance. Oh, this is why it got a 12 plus. Oh. I'm waiting for the nitty gritty. It's going to be sexy. It's going to be Russell Grant or Lavender. <laughs> <laughs> In a big... Taurus and love. That sounds like a rom-com. As rom -com. a Taurus, you are a practical sign with a strong desire in nature. Consolidation and security. Uh... That sounds a lot like a loan. Is, is Russell Grant trying to... Consolidate all your love into one easily manageable portion. <laughs> Think you'll be loving someone forever? Manage Think it down. Again. Manage it down to one Think or again, two months. Bitch. Faithful and true. Oh, I don't think that's true. You would know. The traditional roles? No. It's... Is this calling me sexist? I hope so. <laughs> Appreciative, sensitive, and receptive. Strong on devotion and tenderness. Well, I don't think this is so... Both love and eroticism play an important role. Spon I think that's called being a male. As a woman with Venus in Aries, no, skip that. As a man with Venus in Aries, you would like to have a central, straightforward partner with whom you can have a passionate, friendly, and eventful relationship. That sounds like me. I'm just I gonna. Yeah, it does. It does sound a bit like you. Oh, but what? You don't know your star sign, man. Hey, wait. It should know, cause I think. Do you get all of these? Cause it does have your birth date, so it should. It should have several. Let's go play the mini games. Fuck this. It's mini game time. <laughs> Does it actually have mini games? It has free, exciting mini games. Oh my god, Russell Grant! I assume this they'll be under entertainment. I'm not sure about that. I think it could be under academy. You have free, fun games. <laughs> you can while away the time playing around of Astro Pairs, Splintered Star, or Zidukudu. That's going to be the Sudoku with star signs, isn't it? I don't know. I think that's exactly what it's going to be. <laughs> Let's start with Astro Pairs. If you're watching this and you're bored so far, I'm sorry, but now it's going to pick up. This is this is the this is what we came for. This is the climax. Come for the horoscopes. Stay, stay for, for the, the mini exciting games. mini games. You have to unlock the harder difficulty. So we're going to start with easy astro pairs. This is going to be pairs with well-known. I'm glad we can so start on easy because I think if we did pairs on difficult mode, I I don't know if I can do it. I'm ready. Wait, is this tic tac toe? I don't, I don't think so. I think it's pairs. Why is it just playing tic-tac-toe in the left-hand side? Okay, you guys, you ready? Pick one. That one. I'm going to go with the one all the way okay. on the right. Everyone watching, I'm going to need all of you to help me with this. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> don't call me Lucky Jimmy for nothing. Why doesn't it teach you what those signs mean? It's not necessary. No one cares, <laughs> no one cares about fun. star signs. It's just fun. Long. Okay, that's some, those are some ones. Is it going to tell me I got it wrong yet? Oh, I've got to click again. This is none of those were the same. Do you think Russell Grant actually plays this? All the time. Oh, this is this one. Do you think Russell Grant sits around and is like, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play. He whips Paris. it out. He whips it out and then he takes his DS out. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even need a stylus. Oh, that was that one. He uses his penis. I have amazing memory of the day. You know, if Russell Grant was such a good uh, astrologist, could he just read the stars that, that tell him not to eat? Maybe Splintered Star will be better. I imagine this could be like a, a shooter, shooter game. You know, like a top-down top yeah, shooter. I think it could be, you know, like <laughs> Exevious. I think it could be that. Whoa. A cross between that and Call of Duty. Galaxians. Crossed with Burnout. Crossed with Hitman. I'm I pumped. Didn't, I didn't read the description. I am pumped. Oh shit, it's one of these fucking moving tile games. Oh, that's surprising. These are horrible. Maybe... Clearly Russell Grant knows nothing about anything. I'm excited about... Maybe some kind of Japanese like robot fighting No game. wonder Russell Grant eats if he has to put up with this every day. Oh, I don't think he'll be... When he watches this... He'll just eat himself to death. How is he not dead yet? He's like 60 and fat. Are we talking you about Alan have... Rickman? I have no idea. Do this game's awful. 